what's up guys welcome back to the kiwi md versus flutter challenge we are on the final day of writing code in this day uh, we're going to be working a little bit on the flutter application making sure that we are styling it much better adding some fonts making it look good and finally building the apk it's going to be a little bit of a slow day probably because we've already completed most of the portion and once this, uh, this application and the apk is created tomorrow is going to be the ultimate result day so we will be finding out if the kiwi md apk is better than flutter and all of those things are going to happen tomorrow but for this day let's get started because i've got uh, to add custom fonts to the application and also make sure to build the apk i'll show you guys all the steps as we progress so this is where we left off in yesterday's video we already had worked till the final portion where money could be transferred and things like that and if you guys are coming new to the uh, video series uh, we actually are finding out uh, what is better is it kiwi md or is it flutter with a limited amount of time we are going to be building a complete application and hooking it up with the fast api uh, server and finding out which is actually good so that's what this entire challenge is about i have the application completed but for this video i want to make sure that i'm changing all the fonts here i'm going to be having a theme font meaning that i'm going to be putting it only for the up entire application is going to have the same font to maintain consistency and the color is looking much better than expected so i'm just going to leave the color as, as it is but uh, towards the end we'll be building the application like we'll be building the apk and trying to push it into a real device which i have right here and testing it out if that works fine so that's going to be the challenge for this video let's get continuing uh, the adding font section in flutter is much much more easier compared to uh, the kiwi md because you don't have to add custom fonts you don't have to download it and do anything of that sort you can directly do the google fonts uh, which comes as part of a, uh, the the flutter plugin so what all you need to do is just include the google font plugin uh, yeah, it's fonts basically. Once you do the Google fonts plugin, uh, go to your uh, the main file because this is the main dot, dot file, and you can actually import your package dot Google fonts uh, Google fonts dot dot. I guess this is the uh, import. Let me try. Okay, this flutter is not found. Uh, okay, I let it let it do it automatically. So once you do it, it should work. Is my guess. All right, so as you see, it did work. Like it got the Flutter as Google fonts. And what I'm going to do is inside my uh, theme data, I'm going to be directly adding my uh, probably the entire uh, the, the font for the entire thing. So just say that. So what we have done is that in the theme data, basically we are setting the entire text to be of this Lato theme. So you can actually change it to whatever you want. Uh, probably you can even do Roboto, uh, Roboto text theme. Uh, which is actually completely fine and the reason to uh, do it is probably because we want to have the entire application go using this uh, this text or this font uh, you can even change it pretty much inside the application itself for every single text field and however you want to but i don't i don't want to do that i, I just want to make it look a little bit uh, you know complete without having to do much change let me run this application uh, we'll see how it looks like and probably continue with uh, the rest of this the rest of this video all right, so the, as you can see, the application has started. I'm going to try to uh, do the normal flow here. So let's do that. Uh, enter the username, which is bar1234. I, de I definitely think that the font has changed. It has changed to, to something that is actually much uh, easier to read. Spend history, credit card balance, and all of those things are there. Um, let's try to, yeah. So this definitely looks like a change in the uh, font. Okay. So time to enter the IoT524, 254 I guess, I don't know, what is the DB name? Ah, uh, it's 512, sorry, I don't know why I'm just doing 512254, because I'm getting confused with the bits and bytes. Alright, this is definitely a problem, like 512, IoT512, um, let's change, send the money as 600 bucks enter send Let money transfer successfully you've got on the confirmation as well here does the application look better yes it definitely looks better i'm using the roboto text theme you can even do the lato text theme and see how different it does look like um for us yeah it definitely changed as you can see i wanted to show that so yeah so next step is to change this portion here it definitely doesn't look good i want to change this portion make sure to add a card here instead of a container and i'll do that and come back and show you guys the final output of this application
All right, guys. So I've actually completed working on the application. Made some changes. I'll show you guys the entire steps, uh, entire one, entire flow. Uh, what happens is that when you go inside and enter your username, let me enter the correct username. Uh, Coder monk is the password. I'll enter it, and it will take me to the correct page. So basically, when you go inside the spend history, like your home page, you have the spend history, which actually is nothing but a list tile on the top here. And you have a row here so that that's what uh, is actually going to be the data now if, depending on the size uh, this thing will automatically like increase and decrease so that we don't have to worry about it let's say that i have a very small application like this and a bigger screen like this so it will automatically take care of doing that for us so that's why i've put it inside and expanded and followed by that is the credit card balance we have a credit card balance is by 4500 money paid off till now is 1500 and all of that data is also again as part of a, a list style finally the transfer money option as you go inside and you enter your data destination is iot 512 and this data is iot 512 and amount to send is probably 800 bucks right you do that and you try to send uh, let's see what happens so money transfer successfully and this is the entire flow now what i'm going to do next is to build an apk out of this and i'll talk to you guys more about it once that is done the building apk part is much more uh, easier with respect to the flutter so i'll just go over the basic steps and come back and discuss with you guys how easy was it and what are the steps to definitely take all right the first thing that you need to do is make sure that your gradle is properly uh, present and everything is taken from the local property so you don't have to much you don't have to worry much about it it'll automatically take care of the work for you but let's say that you you have something that you want to change the like your application name and things like that you can change it as part of your app gradle so you can go to your uh, android app and then say that you have the built out gradle where you can change application make sure to um, ensure that your minimum sdk version is at least 21 um, making sure that it will actually ensure that your application is building across all different components all right so we've completed adding changes to the builder gradle now is, now is the time to build our apk now like i said in the start of this uh, entire application series i said that we need to build an apk or a target apk for kvmd as well as flutter in flutter you have a couple of options you can either build an android app bundle uh, which stands for the dot aab file that gets generated which is not an apk basically you you uh, the this target uh, application will is automatically chosen based on what device you have and then it's get it's getting installed that's the dot aab file which is currently the standard that the google play store is actually accepting some uh, or most of the other play stores don't accept an aab they accept an apk now our our goal is to build an apk right you want to build an apk and push it into the device and check if it is running so what we're going to do for that is to uh, first build an apk how you do that you just say flutter um, build and you say apk and it's just it enter it will still build an apk but it'll build a fat apk so uh, the recommendation from the uh, flutter's documentation is to add something like this you, you add split uh, per abi only if you add the split per abi you will not you'll have three different bundle three different files that get generated uh, depending on our hardware you can install whatever we want and it will work if you don't do that it will generate one apk which is, which is going to be very very fat we can either do that or using this but i'm going to try this one to see what are the three different apk files that are getting generated and let's get it oh flutter is not there so i need to enter export all right so since the flutter is not there we need to make sure that we are entering or uh, the the path is probably set okay this is the one that we did earlier all right now time to enter this right flutter build apk split per api let's say enter all right started it's definitely going to take, it's going to take some time the time is now 12 36 pm i'll wait for it to complete and come back and share with you guys what is really the status all right surprisingly it built the entire thing in two minutes it says it took 28.1 one second but it built the entire thing in two minutes so the application is in build out app output flutter apk so just let let me go to this i think it's here right it's going to be all right so basically it's right somewhere inside this so outputs flutter apk all right so here it is it's it's built three different files one is v7a and i think is this is also another file and this is also another file. basically for three different hardwares um 
considering the processor that's that's pretty cool right so also considering this is the one that i uh, that i need to look into uh this is very very thin the, the apk is a little bit thinner than i expected 6.2 mb and this is the one that i said when you are building without the split per abi it builds one fat apk so this is 55.2 similar to what we found in my kvmd uh, app building also uh, so i think this is what happens when you build it without the uh, the hardware specification this is this this is the reason why it becomes so much fat right now try to push it i'll i'll try to push this into my uh, real device and we'll see how what happens there all right so it says success i'll try to open the application and voila i do find it here open it application great awesome app has started um but one two three four coder monk is the password ah i got it finally i think the loading took some time but it, here it is finally we have the application able to scroll it uh, the locket is running on the side so you can find that out as well mm, interesting right it does work try to send account um, iot 512 iot 512 money is 800 bucks send oh awesome the money is also transferred i'm pretty pretty happy that it turned out that way um awesome guys so the application is completed so that's what we're going to be using um let me close this up completely the app is present in my phone right now i'm going to be st now stopping the adb lockcat so the final apk is going to be the release version api arm eb right so i mean let me open it up in my finder and i'll probably pull it out in the in the, in the within finder all right this is going to be the release apk that you want i'll put it here i'll i'll probably have this as my flutter and uh, equivalently i have the kvmd uh, apk as well so finally after six days of writing code we have done the work we have completed writing uh, the same application in two different toolkits flutter and kvmd built the apk and we have the apks right in our in front of us so tomorrow's video is going to be very very interesting we're going to be now comparing the apk uh, across three or four different parameters starting with the memory the cpu and also looking at the jank issues if there are any and finding out which is actually better i'm also going to be comparing which is the faster of the two prototyping languages I'm also going to be comparing which of this is fastest, faster to write and good looking as well. So all of these parameters are going to be compared in tomorrow's uh, ultimate result challenge. And we'll find that out tomorrow. I mean, it's it's been a pretty uh, up and down ride. It's been really, really interesting to work on two different uh, toolkits at the same time. And uh, finally, we have done it. Uh, let me meet you guys in tomorrow's video. Make sure to check it out because the final result is going to be there. I'll see you guys there. Until then, Bharat. Peace out. Have a super awesome day.